Good morning. It's December 17th, and our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called Party Time Day. It comes from Revelation chapter 12, verses 10 through 12. And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed one have been established, because the accuser of our brothers has been thrown out, the one who was accusing them before our God day and night. And they conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their witness, and did not love their lives even to death. Because of this, rejoice heavens and those inhabiting them. But woe to the earth and the ocean, because the accuser came down to you having great rage, knowing that his time is short. What a wonderful relief it will be to be in the heavens and see old Slewfoot dumped unceremoniously out of heaven. If we rejoice when a murderer is caught and brought to justice, how much more cause for celebration will it be when we see the devil get his due? As we look forward to that, it encourages us through the daily temptations we endure from the enemy, knowing that his day is coming. The other side of this is that when he is thrown out and falls to earth, he is going to be raging and hateful and as destructive as possible, and we need to keep in mind what that means to those who will be here when that happens. We overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our witness. It's not enough that we are saved and will escape the enemy's fate. We have to testify about it to those around us. Today is party time day. There will be a party in heaven when the enemy is cast out. So how many people are you going to invite? Let's pray. Lord, I rejoice in your power and your kingdom. Thanks for making me part of it. Help me today to both rejoice in what you have given me and to invite others to join me. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are from Nahum chapters 1 through 3 and Revelation chapters 5 through 7. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.